Excuse me. I'm here for my... Oh, I know what you're here for. Jessica's deposition. Three o'clock on the nose. I'm nothing if not prompt. You're nothing if not an asshole. Is that why you're sitting out here? To call me that? No. I just wanted to personally escort you to the conference room. Mm -hmm. Lucky me. We'll see about that. My old office. Harvey wasn't kidding. My idea. It took a while to feng shui the evil out. Look, Donna, I understand. You piece of shit. Is that all you've got? Oh, I will go right now. Are you going to sue me? Because I don't think anybody here is going to testify. I never meant to hurt you. You mean when you planted that memo and got me fired? I did no such thing. And any implication otherwise from within this firm is actionable. Yeah, right. But you never meant to hurt me. I'd imagine whoever planted that memo thought that you would bring it forward. And if you had, the only thing that would have happened to you is you would have been scolded. And Harvey's career would have been over. So it really is like that between the two of you. You can go now. Jessica's deposition is in the other conference room. Please state your full name for the record. Jessica Lourdes Pearson. Monica Eaton's reviews from 03 to 07, all excellent. Agreed? Yes. Then why was she let go? That was determined by a variety of factors. Was one of the factors that she was having an affair with a partner? I'm so glad you brought that up, you little son of a bitch. Because Off the of... record. So soon. I told you this would happen. He's baiting you into breaching confidentiality. And I'm ready to bite down and drag him in with me. Don't. We can't afford it. No. The affair itself was not a factor. With whom was she having this affair? I refuse to answer that. Why? Were you in love with him? <laughs> in love with him? I thought she was bottom feeding. I might have actually vomited when I heard. Yeah, that's enough. We're not answering this line of questioning. Move on. You said my client's dismissal was due to a variety of factors. And then you said it wasn't the affair and it wasn't job performance. So I ask you, what was it? Is it a personal dislike? Are you jealous of her? Or do you just hate other women? Tread lightly, Daniel. Let's try some questions your client can answer. Were you in a relationship at the time of my client's dismissal? Excuse me? Jessica Pearson's personal life is not an issue here. I beg to differ. And since your client can't seem to find her words today, I, for one, can testify that she was not in a relationship at the time. She's always been married to her job, and she wants her female associates to be equally committed so that as soon as they have anything else in their lives, in other words, sex, she cuts them loose. This is bullshit. Then tell me differently. We're done here. The truth is, Monica was younger than you, prettier than you, sexually active and of childbearing age, all of the things you are not, and you fired her for it. 